Welcome back to Workshop Wasteland. Today I have day number 20 of Workshop Wasteland tricks or treats and this one is 3D printer related. So I showed you in a previous video that I got a new uh, Elegoo Centauri Carbon and I am in love with this printer. It works absolutely fantastic. But I'm coming in here today to show you a trick on setting the Z offset. And the reason why I'm showing you is because it really stumped me at first. This is my first uh, Core XY printer. And uh, previous to this, I had nothing but what they call bed slingers. Let's hop over to the 3D printers and I'll show you what this is all about. Okay, so this is a typical bed slinger type printer. If you notice, the bed is able to move back and forth. The head is able to move side to side, as well as up and down. Alright, so keep in mind that are, that's like the three movements of this printer. The bed, the nozzle is able to move back and forth and up and down to build the Z distance. This is what they call a Core XY printer. So in this case, the bed moves up and down. Uh, the stepper motors are locked right now because I'm preheating for this print that I'm about to show you. But the bed physically moves up and down and the nozzle can move all around to build your print so to build the z height or to you know build the height of your print the bed moves down to build the z height or again the physical height of your print the nozzle on a bed slinger moves up to build the print hence the frame where it can move up to the top right I think a lot of people are very familiar with bed slingers, but these Core XY printers are relatively new. I'm not saying they're new, but they are relatively new. I loaded, as you can see, this is basically just a big box. And I purposely loaded this because it's gonna have a lot of layer or a lot of back and forth across the first layer to show you the Z offset. So to get to your Z offset, once you start a print, you hit this settings or like this gear cog icon and you go to Z offset. So as you can see right now, I'm at 0.050 and hopefully this is going to come through on the camera. But we're able to adjust 0 0.005, 0 0.010 and 0 0.025 millimeters. So Z arrows right here. Now remember, On this printer, to set the Z offset, you're moving the nozzle up and down effectively. So, when you bump your up arrow over here, you're moving the nozzle up, which is increasing the Z distance. Z meaning the relationship between the nozzle and the bed. You don't want it to be so close that it's scratching the bed, but you don't want it to be so far away that the plastic isn't kind of oozing out and developing a bit of a stick or some uh, tackiness to the build plate so again on a bed slinger z distance on your screen you bump the up arrow the nozzle moves up however let's look at the relationship to this printer so on this printer if i hit the up arrow what that's going to do is move the bed up so now instead of increasing the z distance or Increasing the distance between the nozzle and the bed. We're actually decreasing it because again, it's moving the bed This absolutely kicked my butt at first when I first got this printer So hopefully I'll be able to show you and play around a little bit with Z distance here uh, Once this gets to a point where it's able to start printing and I will show you What you're looking for to get your prints to stick and work every single time Okay, so as it turns out, it's actually really difficult to get a camera in here to uh, video what I'm doing. So hopefully you'll be able to see kind of what's going on. Right now it's laying down the first layers and they're stacked together like perfect. What I'm going to do is decrease my Z distance a lot. So now the nozzle should be way too far away from the bed. And by what I did was press the down arrow, which moved the bed down. 
and I can now see the build plate in between the layers. Let me go even farther and make it more dramatic. They're almost not sticking right now. You can actually see the difference in the bottom layer right now. Now what I'm gonna do is bring it up to zero. And now this is the nozzle being way too close to the bed. And see if we can get kind of a wavy textured pattern to this to show you what that looks like. Oftentimes you'll start to hear the extruder start skipping uh, because it's trying to clog the nozzle because you are effectively clogging the nozzle by jamming the nozzle tight against the bed. I'm gonna let this go for a couple of layers and what I'm gonna do is stop this right at the end before it tries to print another layer on top of it and then we're gonna look at this on the workbench and show you the differences in what we have here. It's actually giving me a nice wavy texture. So let me uh, go through a couple of different settings here and then I'm gonna bring it over to the workbench and we'll show you what we have going on so you can visibly uh, see what we have, uh, the problems and then how to address them. So here is a first layer pulled straight off the printer. I've not done anything to this. It's no kind of weird camera magic. But you can very distinctly see the stripes, which is the different uh, Z offsets that I just demonstrated to show you what you're looking for. So we started out, this is at, on this printer it was a .060. So the offset from zero, so if the nozzle is perfectly touching the bed, it's down 0 0.060 millimeters. And that is where we started right here. I dropped this down to 100. You can see we noticeably changed uh, in color. This is a lot shinier and you can physically feel some ridges. This is still not bad by any means, but it's getting to the point where the nozzle is too far away from the bed. Then I went to the exact opposite extreme and this is printing at zero. So this is effectively the nozzle basically touching the bed. If you look here, you can see these ripples in that. It's kind of hard to get the light just right on it, but you can see the ripples right here. That's a very, very clear indication that you're way too close to the bed. This is gonna create real bad elephant's foot on the edges of your print all the way around. And this is not what you want. You're also really jeopardizing the nozzle scratching this build plate and then it's scratched forever. You either live with that on the bottom of every print or you purchase a new one. Uh, I came back to 0 .060. Again, this feels uh, smooth to the touch. Not bad at all. And then I went the exact opposite extreme. This is really far from the bed. And again, we're back to some ripples, but that's because it's like stringing the filament along. It's dragging it with the nozzle because it's not putting it onto the bed like it's supposed to. And then I came back to where I originally was at a 075, so 0 0.075 millimeters away from the nozzle and the bed. That's my Z offset that I like. That's what seems to work really well. I'm not saying that this is exactly where your printer needs to be, but I made this video to specifically show you the differences in what the print will look like on this first layer. So I'm gonna try and peel this off now, see if we have any separation along the way. So as you can see, the beginning is sticking real nice. Now look, we got farther away from the bed and you can see the individual layers Right, you can see all those layers there because they're not stuck together. We didn't squish enough for it to stay squished together. Then we come back to, this is with the nozzle way too close. This is very, very thin. It's actually stuck really hard to the build plate, which is, that in itself is not a bad thing, but the print quality is gonna absolutely suck if you're this close. And if, you probably can't see it in the video, but 
this is like crunchy. Like it's really easy to just break this because it's like paper thin. So now we're back down to, this was 060. And now we come to way too far away. And as you can see, that is also all separated and really crappy. And then we come back down to where I like to be. As you can see, absolutely no problem with adhesion there. Nice clean peel off of the build plate and everything was perfect on that. So again, just to kind of emphasize this a little bit, let me get some white behind this. There you go. So this was at 060. This was at, uh, I think, 100 away. This next section is with the nozzle way too close. I came back to where I like to be. You probably can't see real well in the camera, but it's that section right there. Real nice, smooth bottom layer. Nicely squished together. Then this is with the nozzle really far away, like dramatically far away. And then again, we're back to where I would be printing at with this printer. This is 0.075 millimeters. Um, hopefully that kind of helps to demonstrate and highlight what you're looking at on the Z offset. I'm sure for many of you experienced uh, 3D printers, this is nothing new, nothing revolutionary about this. Um, however, there are a lot of people that have just purchased these Centauri Carbons, and I think this will be very helpful to people who are just getting into 3D printing, or people like me who came from the older style bed slinger printers to this new, more modern uh, Core XY type printer. Because like I said earlier in the video, it really kicked my butt. I could not figure out why, on the, you know, why in the world am I not able to get a good first layer because that's the foundation of the entire print. If you're printing something that's, you know, really tall, that's the foundation of the whole print. It's got to be really good like that. Or otherwise, it just topples off the printer and, you know, it's wrecked. You've wasted all of that time, all of that filament, and unfortunately, that happens all too often. Albeit... If you go back and look at my previous video about how to clean the build plate, I bet you you'll have zero problems with a print sticking, especially if you couple that with the correct Z offset. You will be absolutely money on your 3D prints for a very, very long time. So again, not revolutionary to anybody who's been around 3D printing for a long time. I know there's a lot of new people in the hobby. There's a lot of people who just bought this printer. This would, uh, exact same thing applies to the Bamboo Labs and any of the other Core XY printers. Anything that's in the cabinet like this one, it's going to be the same exact principle, the same Z offset uh, sequence, the whole thing's the same. So as always, thanks so much for tuning in. Really glad you were willing to stop by and listen to this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you didn't and you have a friend who's into 3D printing, be sure to share this with them. Maybe they can take something away from it. Please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.